This is one of the craziest cases I've seen on the wrist. It's really shiny, guys. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Gang. As we are nearing the end of the year, I want to focus on the last cool watches that I've seen this year. Aventi is a brand that we covered on the channel before, once when they first launched the brand three years ago, and a bit later in the same year when the blue sapphire model came out. We have also shown you this skull model with a polished case and a sapphire skull in the middle of the dial. To this day, one of my favorite watches from the brand. They have come a long way and it's fun to observe the development and growth of the brand from the sidelines. Today we're going to talk about one of the latest creations, the Wraith, or as the official name the A15-01 Sapphite Ice Blue Paraiba. A lot of unpack here, as the watch is full of details. In a nutshell, as a collector I would buy this watch for two reasons. First of all is the unique case design and material, and the second obvious reason is the tourbillon which is Swiss made. A tourbillon for me is one of the most mesmerizing complications slash features in a watch. The dynamic movement of the balance with rotating every 60 seconds inside the cage is just something I will never get tired of. Tourbillons used to be the pinnacle of watchmaking, and only accessible above a certain price point. I remember 12 years ago when I fell in love with watches, a tourbillon was something that intrigued me deeply. Here we have a 60 second tourbillon with the seconds hand mounted on it as well. Sometimes tourbillons don't feature the hand, which means that you can't set it really correctly. In this case we have it and I'm happy we do. The design of the whole dial is something unique, very detailed, layered and nicely decorated. It looks like the dial is cracked open to unveil the movement below it. Each dial is skeletonized, polished, guilloshed, coated with DLC, laser engraved with over 100 lines and then filled with Swiss Super Luminova. Another special feature are the hands. The hour and minute hand are created out of sapphire and outlined with Swiss Super Luminova as well, intricately made and in tune with the look of the whole watch. When the lights go off, it really comes to shine and it's really cool to see. Once you drive into a tunnel, driving your car, I love it. I really like the way Aventi started to create their watches, especially how they use entirely Swiss made movement manufacturing and expertise. And believe me, it's really Swiss made, because I have seen the production as well as assembly of the movements in Le Chatfond, the same companies that have worked with brands like Audemars Piguet and Richard Mille. The whole movement hence features some really good characteristics. It has been made to withstand 5000 Gs of shock and 2000 Gauss magnetic resistance. The skeletonized movement is entirely made out of titanium, beveled as well as polished. There is also perlash as well as blued screws. Since it's a hand winding mechanical watch, it has a power as over 4 days, which is plenty. You can wind the watch with a titanium crown encased in the sapphite at 12 o'clock. When you do so, the barrel also starts turning and you're good to go after a few good turns. I love hand wound watches, it gives you this additional connection to the watch itself. Basically you're in charge of its life, if you don't give it power it won't work. And in hindsight you won't be able to read the time, so in a way you're actually dependent on each other. Above the movement of Anti put an additional dial which features a hobnail decoration or as we usually call it Claude de Paris. I love the symmetry of the dial from the mini track, the turbine in the middle and no unnecessary text. The name of the watch is Wraith, same as one of my favorite luxury cars from Rolls Royce, appropriately named after how rare they are to see in the wild. They chose the name due to the lights, translucent and internal play on the watch and the movement as it also passes through the sapphire case. The reality of seeing one in person and the power of each weather feels, I think the name is unforgettable once you see it. The shape as well as the material are quite special. It's a fully polished two part and very faceted case. I can't even imagine how hard it is to manufacture. It looks really painful. The material used is called by Aventi Sapphite. They like to use it because they say they can achieve colors no other material can achieve. The unique structure makes it less prone to shattering and it gives you this gem like shine. Once they found limitations with the use of sapphire, they turned to sapphite, which is essentially a nano material made out of crystalline structures suspended in a glassy matrix, increasing its impact and scratch resistance. This is definitely a watch that people will notice once you put it on the wrist. You will stand out and you will look at your watch many, many times per day. As I wore the watch for a couple of weeks now, I love looking at it from different angles. You can see the turbine actually from all around the case. The whole case is see-through so you can even see all the layers of the movement and the dial from each side. Not a discrete watch, but that's also not what Aventi is going for anyway. It's a watch for watch collectors who are looking for something special and something that's missing in their collection. And I think they really carved out a special place for themselves in our passionate little industry. Holding the watch securely on the wrist is a butterfly clasp. The height of the case is 14.5 millimeters, the case width is 44 millimeters, and the lug to lug is 49 millimeters. Just for comparison, I have a 18.7 centimeter wrist. Nonetheless, I also think smaller wrist could pull off this piece. The strap is very comfortable, comes in a polar white color, and is made out of FKM rubber. 
A very robust and nicely made strap indeed, with the Aventi logo and some carved out vents, so you don't sweat too much. The price for this unique watch is 25,750 Swiss francs. To finish off the video, I think that if Aventi continues in this path, they will be a force to reckon with and more people will pay attention to them. I wish you all guys a happy holidays and a great end of the year. I hope you enjoyed the video and comment down below which brands or watchmakers you want to see more in the channel in 2024. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the support in the past year. You guys are the best and I'll see you soon.